What's up guys, Shane Starnes here. Today I'm diving into something that doesn't just make sense for creators like me, but honestly for anyone who wants more control over their data. In this video, I'll be partnering with Ugreen to take a look at the NASSYNC DH4300+. Plus. This has massive storage capabilities and some really cool features that make this way more than just a fancy hard drive Let's go ahead and get started. First up, let's get these out of the box and see what all we're working with. Right up top, we've got an accessory box. Here's our quick start guide and warranty information. This is an ethernet cable. We've got our power supply. Here's a bag of hard drive screws. Here's another bag of hard drive screws. So one is for two and a half inch hard drives and the other is for three and a half inch hard drives. They've included a Phillips head screwdriver. Here is the DH. 4300 plus. Ugreen also sent out some hard drives, so we'll take a look. Looks like these are the Iron Wolf 4 terabyte hard drives. It looks like they sent out four of these, so we've got 16 terabytes in total. Real quickly, we'll run through the setup process. So we're just going to lift the lid. One by one, we're just gonna push the button and remove the trays. To connect the hard drive, put this with the metal connector face down towards the open side. Then we're just gonna screw in the mounting points. Right, we'll just put that back in place and do that for all four drives. I have all four hard drives installed. We'll go ahead and replace the lid. Next up, we'll plug this into our router and then we do need to power it up. So we'll plug in the power cable. Then we'll just press the power button to turn it on and wait for it to boot up. Once you've installed the Ugreen application, you should be able to just tap the NFC button that's going to launch the app so you can get the setup going. It's already searching for the device and it's found it. So we'll go ahead and sign it up. All right, now it is initializing and configuring the NAS. So within a few minutes, we're all set and we're welcomed here with the quick overview. So first things first, what exactly is a network attached storage? Think of it like having your own personal cloud. Instead of paying Google Drive, iCloud, or Dropbox every month for storage that you'll eventually max out, an NAS is a little box that lives on your home network. You fill it with your own hard drives, connect it to your router, and suddenly you've got a central storage system that everyone in your house or even your office can access. The cool part is it behaves just like cloud storage. You can pull up files on your laptop, your phone, even remotely if you're away from home. But here's the difference. Your data isn't floating out there on someone else's server. It's stored locally right in your home on drives that you own and control. And because you're not paying ongoing subscription fees, it's much more cost efficient in the long run. This is where network attached storage really shines for creators like me. I work in video production. I'm constantly archiving raw footage. We're talking terabytes of data piling up fast. Cloud storage services charge a fortune for that kind of space. And even then you have to deal with upload speeds, download speeds and limits. With my DH4300+, Plus, I can archive projects, keep backups of family photos and important documents, and I don't have to worry about running out of room or paying more every single month. For example, before I upgrade to new phones, I dump all my photos and files onto the NAS where I know they're safe and I know I can access them later. This allows me to set up my brand new phone as a brand new phone and I get to access all the storage on that device. The Ugreen DH4300 Plus has a massive storage capacity of up to 120 terabytes. Ugreen NAS offers wide compatibility for third party hard disk drives. Mine is loaded up with 16 terabytes right now. What does that actually look like in real world terms? 16 terabytes is enough to store about 4,100 full size movies. These are about 4 million songs or roughly 5.2 million high resolution photos, which is a ton of content. For me, it means years of video projects, all my family memories and plenty a breathing room for whatever's next but here's the wild part if you max this unit out to its full 120 terabyte capacity the numbers get insane we're talking up to 41 million photos over 80,000 movies or more than 125 million files which is basically a lifetime of storage in one system to put that into perspective my two terabyte macbook fills up about twice a year with video projects if i only relied on that i'd constantly be scrambling to clear up space with 16 terabytes in my nas i should get a solid four years of storage before even thinking about swapping to bigger hard drives the dh 43 
300 Plus isn't just for files. You can also use this as a network video recorder for your security cameras. Thanks to Docker on the NAS, you can feed your cameras directly into the system, which means you can view live surveillance footage in real time or playback archive recordings anytime and anywhere. This turns the NAS into a central hub for managing all your cameras and files so you don't need to juggle different apps or pay multiple storage subscriptions, just one system that's always on and always recording. One important thing to note is that your cameras do need to support general protocols like ONVIF. My current cameras unfortunately don't, so I haven't been able to test this firsthand, but if yours do, this could be a fantastic alternative to paying monthly subscription fees just to access your own security footage. Plus, it keeps everything more secure since all your recordings are stored locally, not in the cloud. Another feature I really like is the Album Assistant. The Ugreen NAS Sync has built-in AI smart recognition and classification. It can automatically sort your photos by people, places, pets, vehicles, and even everyday objects. So instead of manually sifting through thousands of photos, you can just type a keyword like dog or vacation and instantly pull up the photos you want. It's like having your own private Google Photos, but without handing your data over to Google. For families, this is huge. All those random pictures from birthdays, trips, or holidays get neatly organized without you having to do any extra work. The NAS also makes sharing and access incredibly simple with a NAS Sync client you and your team or family can log in from anywhere, whether you're on the web, iOS, Android, or even your smart TV. That means no more passing around hard drives or emailing giant files back and forth. Everyone gets instant access to the same hub of data on the devices they use every day, whether it's working on a shared project, streaming home videos to the TV, or just pulling up an old photo album, the NAS makes it seamless. Finally, let's talk about security because this is a big deal. Compared to cloud storage, all of your data on the DH4300 Plus stays local on your own drives. It's not uploaded to third-party servers, and it's not sitting somewhere that you don't control. Ugreen also built in a security manager that adds an extra layer of protection. You've got real-time virus scanning to keep your files safe, plus flexible permission management, so you can decide exactly who gets access. That means you can keep certain folders private, share others with your family, and set up your own rules for your data. So when you add everything up, cost savings, massive capacity, backup peace of mind, NVR functionality, photo organization, multi-user access, and strong security, the Ugreen NAS Sync DH4300 Plus really is more than just a storage box. It's a central hub for your digital life, and for me as a creator, it's quickly become one of the most valuable tools in my setup. I'll be sure to include links so you can find out more information about the NAS Sync DH4300 Plus and purchase one for yourself. They're giving a 20% off discount when you purchase from October 7th through October 8th. That about wraps it up for this video. Thanks guys for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.